Hello, this is Chef Andros. Uh, today I will uh, demonstrate for you uh, how to uh, fill it, how to take the bones out of from a tuna. And um, my tuna, it was uh, uh, 10 kilograms. And uh, after the gutting, we have removed um, the inlets and um, and uh, our um, tuna now is weighing 8.35 kilos. Um, so, uh, first of all, I would like to say hello to all the students that are um, uh, watching my videos, especially in the United States and the Philippines. And um, uh, now let's see how I will proceed uh, with the filleting um, of my uh, tuna. So. Um, as you know, a tuna will be separated in four fillets. That is, we will make the one fillet uh, from the from the um, uh, neck of the um, of the tuna, one fillet from the belly, and the same two from the other side. So I will be using a filleting knife, um, a knife for all uses, and uh, a chef's knife. Uh, in fact, these knives are not so suitable for this uh, job, but um, I will see what I can do with the knives I have available. So, I am right-handed, and I begin with um, um, filleting. I will insert my knife uh, at the back of the fish and make a straight cut on the spine. Okay, uh, first of all, I will remove the head. So I'll go behind uh, this, uh, this fin and I cut the head like this, and I cut the head like this, and like that, and then I will go to the other side, and I will do the same. So I will go behind the fin. And then I will remove the head as simple as that. Of course, out of this head, I will uh, trim later um, a lot of. Um, you see the head; it still has a lot of meat in it. But I will scoop it out using a spoon, and I will be using it as mince meat to make um, uh, tuna fish balls. Uh, or we can eat it raw with uh, lemon juice and olive oil and some uh, black pepper. So, uh, so far I have, I have cut the one side um, uh, of, the, uh, of the back of the salmon, oh, oh, excuse me, of the tuna. I will do the same because there is a, there is a bone which is vertical onto the fish. So, you see, I have uh, separated the two fillets from the from the back of the fish, and I will. I want to feel the knife touching the ribs of the tuna. Now, likewise, I will go to the bottom side of the of the tuna. I will insert my fillet knife, and I will cut it like this. And also on the lower side, like that, I will feel the bones, all of the bones. I want to feel the knife on the on the rib cage. And what I have now is actually the two sides being separated. Now I will go from the side of the salmon and just cut it in two, like that. And like that. And what I have here is a beautiful fillet. So I have my first fillet from the lower side of the of the tuna. And then 
I will go and take out the other fillet. In fact, I will go through the uh, vertical bones and I have another fillet of the tuna. Now I will go on the other side. I will cut my tuna in the middle. I will remove the lower side and I will have another fillet and then I will fillet the upper part and this is it now what is left is the is the carcass is the spine of the fish which I will use a spoon and I will scoop out all of this meat all of this meat I will place it into a bowl and then we can use this as mincemeat for, for other purposes that will be on part two of the deboning of the tuna. So let me take care now of the of the four fillets and uh, proceed uh, with more uh, detailed uh, uh, filleting. Now, as you can see, um, all of this um, uh, vein with blood will have to be removed, and this is. This is not of any use, you have to throw it away. Perhaps you can <laughs> feed your cats. So, <clears throat> so all of this blood has to be separated. It's not good for eating, so you have to discard it. And I will clean all of these uh, veins here. I want to have a lean fillet of tuna I will clean some more of this uh, of this blood vein mind you for this uh, tuna uh, it was uh, a special offer probably they have um, plenty uh, in this season and I paid 25 euros, uh, which means that um, uh, gutted it was 2.99 a kilo. So I will be using now my chef's knife. I will go below the skin and just with a straight cut, I will remove all the fillet and what I have here is a clean fillet that we can use uh, for many many recipes in fact I will trim a little bit of this uh, blood vein and later on, uh, on another video on part 2 I will show you how to, uh, to use this and make, and make them into portions um, you see the skin, this is the skin, there is nothing edible on it, so this is to throw away. So I will take the other side, um, I will take the, the other side now, I will do the same. I will remove the blood vein and the vertical uh, uh, bones uh, of the tuna. If there is some good meat on it, I can um, turn it later into mincemeat and uh, use it, as I told you before, um, for, uh, for tartare. Maybe we can, uh, we can eat um, uh, a tartare uh, tuna or we can uh, use it as uh, uh, fish mincemeat and we make uh, meatballs or fish burgers or uh, uh, foods uh, like that. So I have removed the blood, the, this uh, blood vein again, like that. 
I want it very very clean so that nothing smells bad into my dishes so I will clean it as much as possible like that and again I will insert my chef's knife at the tail and I will just take the skin out which is very very easy like that and like that and like that so what I have here is another clean fillet which I can um, uh, I will show you later how to cut in steaks now the same I will go this is the skin again we don't use it for anything we just throw it away so we go now on the lower parts um, on the lower fillets uh, of the tuna now we take the blood vein away because it is not edible I doubt if the cats will eat it just like that I want to take all of the blood away because I want a nice clean fillet to make my recipes we can make it later into nice um, uh, Niswa's uh, salad we can make it grilled, we can make them um, uh, like a, a pepper steak a grilled pepper steak you know rolled uh, salmon into uh, crushed uh, black pepper and that is very nice I will turn it to the side of the camera so that you can see better so I am removing all of the rib cage like that all of this is, is useless ribs and uh, tissues that I don't want in my in my dishes so likewise we have the third of the four fillets this is completely clean I will use my chef's knife I will insert it below the flesh and I can take the skin away so we have the fourth uh, the, the third of the four fillets and then again I will take the other side of the belly I will cut the blood vein and remove it like that I will remove the, the rib cage like that actually I will remove everything and then I will clean it and make other recipes from the belly I just want the fillet now so this is so I will remove Jamejini Lexias Jamejini question okay this is the four fillet this is the skin that we don't need we just throw away and this is the fourth fillet so um, at this point I will turn my computer off and um, I will see you um, with, uh, with the fillets and um, uh, how to prepare them but before probably probably I could just uh, scoop a little bit out of the out of the head and prepare some uh, some mincemeat so you are using a spoon an ordinary soup spoon and you take out all the meat from inside the head and this is very nice uh, mincemeat that later you can use uh, for many recipes we don't waste the meat we just um, uh, discard all the useless um, 
uh, bones and tissues, but we do use uh, the good uh, mincemeat and prepare more, more recipes. Okay, um, uh, uh, see you later. Uh, see you later uh, with um, uh, with uh, with the uh, with the product with with the four fillets, and um, we will talk later. Thank you very much. This is Chef Chef Andros.